What's going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ in September here, bringing it to you live from Columbus. Not really live, you're seeing this a day after, but uh, <laughs> we're just kind of scouting out thrift stores in and around the Columbus area, trying to find some hidden gems, maybe some masks. They told us to look for some guy named Jim. So we're trying to find Jim. So I just walked in the building and found this immediately. It's just weird enough that I'll take it. Um, but I don't see any other masks so far. I'm gonna keep looking. Well, that was extremely disappointing. Uh, I did get one little half face mask, so I guess I can't complain too much. Um, but you know a thrift shop's bad when September doesn't buy anything. <coughs> thrift shop attempt number two. We're at a Goodwill, hoping to get lucky. Yeah. They've got 666 on their address, so maybe that's a sign. See all sorts of costumes. I haven't seen one mask. Not one mask. Oh, what's this? Dumb. Oh my god, they've got British females for less than two bucks. I will take all of the females. So I got four of them here. Doesn't feel like a very thrifty score, but uh, I am definitely happy with these because these get harder and harder to find the British versions. All right, big hooters. I did score some <laughs> stuff in here. Uh, it doesn't feel very thrifty because it's just like new old stock British females that they probably bought from like a failing department store or something but it's kind of cool because those are my favorite types of females the British ones because they're like painted real nice and uh, and he likes their accents so. and they yeah they they speak funny and um, they're getting harder and harder to find the American shitty terribly painted ones are the ones that are taken over and uh, I hate those so British ones are a good find. I got four of them, and the weird half mask of one that I've never seen before. Me. And I got flannels and cute shoes. Beautiful downtown Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> We're at our third thrift shop of the day. Hoping for a score. What is that thing? I want. Done it Made in Korea by Sunwell. This is a thrift shop mask, for sure. So scenic. Another one. I've never heard of this place, so it's gonna be a surprise to both of us if they do or do not have maskies. I think that counts. This place is so big, but they don't have fucking anything. So the last store we went to was a bust. It was huge. 
and it's surprising that they didn't have anything because they had a massive Halloween section, but they did not have any. They had one Zagoni mask, uh, but it was just one you can find pretty much anywhere, so I wasn't real interested in that. All right, that's gonna just about do it for our little thrift store video. I don't know if I'm happy or upset or what. I don't. I think I just expected more. But uh, as far as pieces, I mean, I got a decent amount of masks. I get like eight or something like that. Something. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna stop at these thrift stores that um, September's mom already bought me stuff at that you saw in like the last video or whatever, and just see if they've maybe put any more out or whatever. That's pretty much it. So uh, yeah. September's leaving next weekend, and I'm gonna be all alone, so I may try to go to another area and uh, hit up some thrift stores there and see if somebody else will want to go. So, any of you ladies out there, <coughs> bronchitis. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if not, you can just fuck right off. So, real quickly, I'm just gonna go over all the masks that I scored at various thrift stores today. Starting with these uh, smiling, transparent, female clown thing, face masks. Uh, basically, these are just uh, transparent female masks. Clown used one similar uh, during All Hope is Gone, as I'm sure most of you guys know. These are the British version. These are harder and harder to come by every day. I really like them because they're painted better than uh, any other version, especially the shitty American ones. And uh, I really like that like foggy, transparent look or whatever um something else i found at the thrift store was just the top half of one uh, which is kind of cool because i've never seen anything like that before and it is just sold as a top half there was a bunch of them uh, i wasn't going to get one originally but i was like man chances are i'm not going to see that again so i might as well it was like a buck so um first thing i found was this weird i believe it's a dawn post if it's not a dawn post it's definitely made like a dawn post um it's a, just a half mask crudely painted it is uh, vinyl, uh, no stamps or markings or anything like that. Found this Fun World Scream piece. It smells like vanilla. It's a little dirty. I'll probably try to scrub that off a little bit. Um, and it's a little misshapen, so I'll have to stuff it and get it back into uh, back into shape. Um, next up, I've got this Ruby's hooded vampire thing. And uh, it's actually pretty sweet. When I saw it, I was like, man, that's kind of cheesy or whatever. And then I was like, wow, it's a 97, and it's a Ruby's. Um, so it is just a classic 90s Halloween mask, which is right up my alley. We've got this weird-ass 89 uh, The Great Cover-Up mask. I don't think I own any Great Cover-Up masks, and this thing is weird as hell. Um, it's just weird. It's starting to rot a little bit. It's super soft. There's some rips and tears here and there. Um, nothing noticeable unless you're looking for them like behind the ears and stuff um, all in all I'm pretty pumped about that it's definitely a weird weird mask 
uh, and I really enjoy it. And then lastly, probably the one that I'm the most excited about because this is straight up hood ass thrift store ghetto mask find. It's an old top stone piece. I lied to you. It is an old Easter Unlimited piece. Uh, and it is just fucking weird. Like, is it a vampire? Is it a zombie? I don't know. Uh, but it's cool, and I enjoy it. So, yeah. I'm stoked on that one. Um, altogether, I'd say I had a successful day. I don't know what, really, I was expecting to find. Um, so, at first, when I was finding these masks, I was kind of bummed. And now that I'm looking at them all together, I'm a little bit happier, so... Um, they're going to join these guys over here in the corner and maybe eventually we'll have this whole table full of thrift shop finds. Uh, like I said earlier, September is going away uh, this weekend for three days on a business trip. So I'm going to be alone and bored. I might see if somebody wants to come with me to a town called Lancaster that is about an hour away. Um, it's not a, I don't know how to explain it. It's a big city but it's not a big city at the same time, and I know that they have thrift shops, so we'll have to see. Um, somebody wants to go up there with me and see if we can find something. But yeah, that is going to do it for this thrift shop episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys tomorrow.